Hey, what's up guys? So the other day I was at the discount hardware store where they were giving away these electronic fly swatters for free with any purchase. So of course I took one, uh, it runs on two AA batteries, you press and hold the button there, and then when the fly gets in between there, it is instantly killed with the DC charge. So anyway, I thought it'd be a cool video to take this apart and see exactly how they are generating that high voltage over here to kill bugs. So let's take a closer look. Well, you know, I guess if they're selling millions of these things and giving them away for free, that uh, the board would be extremely minimal. Uh, just a handful of parts here to take that battery voltage and step it up to the high voltage out to the grills. And... Uh, Everything here is what I would expect. So the board is in the handle uh, like this. We've got the battery holder down here molded into the handle. And uh, the wire's going out to the metal grates. We've got the center wire for the grate in the middle. And then two white wires connected down to the board for the two outer grills. So when the bug flies in, uh, it has to make contact with both an outer grill and the inner grill. That makes sense. So looking at the board, everything here is pretty much what I would expect. We've got some magnetics, uh, a high voltage capacitor, some sort of oscillator on the low voltage side. You get the button and the LED and uh, that's it. There's really not a whole lot to this. So when I first traced this out, uh, I came up with this. And uh, you know, at first, this was all making sense. And I've seen this type of transformer before at other power supplies. It's a six pin transformer. You've got three, three pins on the low voltage side and three pins on the high voltage side. So I was expecting an arrangement kind of like this, where you've got the three pins there, there's a center tap, and then a center tap on the high voltage side not exactly what I was expecting for this type of converter. And honestly, I was expecting some sort of voltage multiplier kind of circuit, something kind of like that, but not the case with this. Um, so this clearly is not correct because I don't understand this and I don't see how, when I drew it out, I was trying to figure out how could this possibly get into any sort of oscillation here. Uh, we're even connecting uh, a 470 ohm resistor here to the high voltage side. So it really wasn't making sense. So I actually pulled the transformer off of the board and ohmed it out to find where the windings were. And I was completely wrong. There, there, there is not uh, two sets of windings with center taps. It's actually three independent windings like this. Zoom out a little bit there. So it's actually set up just like this. Uh, and we've got a three separate windings. So this makes a little bit more sense. It's a custom transformer. Nothing, I've never seen anything like this before. So when you look at this at first, uh, it may be a little confusing, but I've seen this arrangement before and maybe you have as well. This is a jewel thief type oscillator. It's a little unique and not uh, exactly what I'm used to. Typically you would see some sort of series resistance in line with the base of the transistor here. Um, so maybe that's actually a flaw in this circuit design. I don't, I don't know, maybe. Oh, or possibly that series resistance is built into this 8050S uh, bipolar uh, NPN transistor. Maybe. So, um, who knows? But uh, this is the way it's hooked up. And we've got the jewel thief, jewel thief type oscillator here. Bang, 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 bang. And then the high voltage winding out here. And uh, this is a step up type transformer. Uh, we do have uh, much higher resistance across this winding than these. These are like 1.5 uh, ohms here. Both of these, exact, they measured exactly the same resistance and then about 230 ohms out here. So we've got the step up transformer. I'm not sure exactly how this winding is coupled into these. Um, I think it would be coupled into this winding here because 
uh, looking at the board, we've got we've got the winding here. This one right across here. You probably can't see that, but anyway, two of the pins here are actually for this winding, and then this winding and this winding are symmetrical. We've got the the two pins there for the high voltage, and then the two pins for the low voltage. So that's probably where the step up transformer action is taking place. And you know, I might actually do a separate video where we take a deep dive, hook the scope up, probe around, try to actually figure out how this whole circuit works and maybe even soup it up a little bit. Okay, but anyway, on the high voltage side, standard rectifier here, just a single diode. Uh, then the, the uh, high voltage capacitor out here with a bleeder resistor. So yeah, after you're done using it, the high voltage bleeds off into that resistor. You know, and that's that's all there is to it. I haven't actually measured the high voltage. This was just a kind of a, a quick video just to show you the, the bare bone circuit, how it all kind of works. And, and maybe we'll take that deep dive in a future video. Let me know if that's something that you would find interesting. So anyway, just a quick video there. Thanks for watching.